About two days ago, I received a mail from a young man. He asked me, "What can I do?" My brother advised me to work a job before I could start a business, so that I would have experience. I have heard this so many times that some people become employees simply because they think they can learn how to run a business before they start their own business. Unfortunately, it's not as simple as that. In today's video, I'm going to share with you what I replied to this man as I try to show you the five things you should stop doing as an employee. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Stop choosing jobs by its pay. When I was a young boy, I usually listened to people talking about getting good jobs. As a grown-up, I wondered what definition of a good job is, but nobody knew except that everyone believes that any job that pays you a high salary is good. I think I have a better idea. I don't believe that a job is good because it pays you one hundred thousand dollars a year. I think a job is good if you wake up every Monday morning and smile because you've been waiting for the new week to start. If I hate my Monday to Friday, how can you tell me that I have a good job because I'm being paid a lot of money? This does not apply to the job alone. If you want to be an entrepreneur, you must not fall into the temptation of thinking that if your company can make a million dollars a year, you will be happy. It's a lie. The only thing that makes people happy and fulfilled is when they do what they are passionate about. If you can do your job for free because you love it, then you're a successful person. Whether you make fifty thousand dollars a year or you make a million dollars, don't get me wrong. I know the importance of money, and I know that you need a lot of money to live a comfortable life. But I also know that money is like cement. Though cement is very important in building a house, cement alone cannot build a house. To build a house, you need cement, water, stones, sand, and some other things. Though money is very important, if you hate what you do, you'll be sacrificing forty hours every week, forty painful hours, forty hours of sorrow and sadness. I don't think it is worth it. Don't choose a job or business because it will bring you money. Choose jobs and businesses you are passionate about, even if such a job or business won't make you as much money as the ones you don't like. Stop trying to learn entrepreneurship by being an employee. Now, let me start this video with the previous story I told you about the man who wanted me to give him a piece of advice about what he should do. Should he go straight to the business world or work a job for a few years so that he would have some experience about how to be an entrepreneur? Well, if the reason you want to work a job for a few years before you start your own business is that you want to earn some money to clear some of your debt or to have a few dollars as capital, then you have a good point. However, if the reason you want to work a job before you start your own business is so that you can gain some experience, I'm sorry. You probably won't gain any worthwhile experience that will help you be a successful entrepreneur, and I'll explain why I said this. You see, if you wish to work a few years before you start your own business, then you are much likely to work for a big company, and that's where the problem is. When you work for a small company, you can see how the business is being built firsthand because you're going to be working with a small group of people that probably do many things. You're probably going to be working directly with the founder or owner of such company, meaning that you can learn directly from him. When you work for a big company, however, you have nothing much to learn about entrepreneurship because that company already has many departments, and you'll be employed for a single duty in one of the departments. Yes, you might learn a lot of a whole lot of things from your duty and department. Most times, everything you learn will still not be enough to make any difference when you start as an entrepreneur. Take for instance, if you work for a bank as a teller, what would you learn as a teller that can help you build a business? Nothing much. If you work for a company as an accountant, what would you learn as an accountant to help you when you start a business? Maybe a few things. Entrepreneurship. Is seventy percent of mindset and thirty percent of doing. The only meaningful thing you can learn about entrepreneurship is to learn how entrepreneurs think, and you can't learn this except you work directly with an entrepreneur in a small company. So stop thinking that you can learn how to be an entrepreneur by working for a big company. 
except you have the opportunity to work directly with the owner of the company or in a startup, you probably won't learn anything much that will help you succeed as an entrepreneur, working as an employee. So, if you want to be an entrepreneur, you can learn on the job by starting a business today. Stop spending as fast as you earn. A few weeks ago, I was discussing with a friend about a particular car I'd love to buy, and about three weeks later, I told him that I would be buying a car that's cheaper because when I make use of the calculator, I discovered that if I bought a cheaper car, I'll use the excess money to employ one more person for my business. The reason why I think this way is because I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. If you're an entrepreneur, situations will force you to learn and know how money works. For instance, every month I know that I have to save a certain amount of money because I need to provide money for the running cost of my business. I know that I must save for an emergency because I have employees who depend on me for their monthly payments. I must invest because without investing a certain percentage back to a business, you can't withstand the competition or be in the future. I can't just spend money like everyone because there is a sense of responsibility when you wake up and remember that you're responsible for someone's paychecks. While entrepreneurs have situations that force them to be diligent about money, there's nothing that forces you to take care of your money as an employee. If an employee earns $10,000 a month and spends it all, there's no problem until in the future. And because of this, most employees spend as fast as they earn, sometimes even faster. You have to stop this if you are an employee. Keep your money. Save your money. The money you keep can be helpful in time of crisis. The money you save can help you tomorrow if you get inspiration for a new business idea. Stop hating your employer. Yes, some employers are evil, but some are just humans. They want to maximize profit and you are one of the instruments in their hands to do that. Unfortunately, life is not fair. You will either use people or be used by someone. There's no third option. Instead of hating your employer, understand how he or she thinks and decide to move to the other side of the game if you think you have what it takes. Hating your employer will not allow you to see the big picture. The big picture is that you have options and you can be an employer too, if you want to. Stop being ignorant about money. Money is not rocket science. Most people don't get it. You have to stop being ignorant about money if you want to be financially free. You have to understand that money, real money, is not gotten by hard labor but by leverage. You have to learn how to make money work for you. You must learn how to say no to materialism and save a percentage of your income every month. You have to read about money and understand how people who have too much of it make it. In summary, if you're an employee, I advise you should not choose a job because of its pay because if you wake up on Mondays with sadness, you don't have a life. You should not expect to learn enough skills to be an entrepreneur by working a job because you're probably going to be working a job that's far from who is building the company and you may not learn that much. Don't hate your employer. If you don't like what it means to be an employer, don't forget that you have the power to change that. Learn how money works and be disciplined to practice diligence. Stop spending as fast as you earn. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Do you love to start your day with high energy? Then we invite you to join our new channel which was designed to give you daily inspirational videos that will help you become a higher achiever. We call it Inspiration Tube. Look at the description box to join the Inspiration Tube. We love you.